What is going on everybody? We are here to check out Piranha Plant here on Nintendo Land because he has just dropped a couple of minutes ago and I want to be here to give you guys your first exclusive gameplay as to how this character works and kind of show you the ropes so far with what I've seen. So right here we have Piranha Plant, the new character. He feels so cool. Okay, so here are the different variation colors. We have a yellow dotted green one, you know, a yellow one, a pink brown or black however you want to say that one a white one that i believe resembles the skeleton form from new super mario bros and then you have the big purple poisonous one from super mario galaxy which i actually like a lot um and then you have this ice blue one which is also really cool so in this video i was thinking about going with the mario galaxy one but let's go either the white or mario let's do mario galaxy because that, that's pretty cool i like that i like that color way so i think we're already up against mario of course why not and let's jump in let's see what we got here So, of course, we're on New Super Mario Bros. Because this is where the character was revealed. Um, and right off the bat, let's take away um, the display. Because we don't need the display. And let's look at all the things that he has here. This is his walk so far. So, when he walks, he just wiggles around. You know, nothing much to see here. Not You're not going to be walking with much characters. So, let's see the run. The sprint is actually really quick. He has a really quick sprint. He feels light as well. Really airy of a character. But his sprint is... Goodness gracious. And look at his little tongue stick out as he chases you. That is awesome. But you can see his little feet stick up from the pot and stuff. So, yeah. Um, his duck, he goes down into the pot, which makes him very small. And I can see him being very hard to hit. He could probably dodge most projectiles this way from, like, Fox's lasers and stuff like that. Uh, Simon's boomerang, Link's boomerang, stuff like that. Or his holy cross, if you want to say. So, you can move, blah, blah, blah. His shield, he just puts his little leaves up around his face. And he shields, like, any normal character. Let's see what he looks like as he's dazed. Bop. And he's going to be dazed. He just kind of moves around with his tongue sticking out. And his little pot moves around. I like the gold pot on this skin variation too. It's really, really, really cool. Um, but let's get into some of his move sets now. So first is jab. It looks like he just throws his leaves at you. And then he throws a head. And leaf, leaf, head is pretty much this simple jab. And it's doing a pretty chunk, big chunk of damage there. Um, but if you hold the jab or tap it really quick... His jab is actually really good. It has a string of bites that can be continued push. Look at this. And 22 damage, obviously you're not going to get 22 damage, but you'll probably get about 16 damage out of it off the rip. And that's pretty solid for a jab. And it looks like it can combo into other things. Maybe jab him up a little bit and then come in with like a nair or something like that. All right. Um, his down tilt swipes the feet, you know, and it doesn't look like it does too much. It is a pop-up though. It is a pop-up, so that can definitely lead into you know combos with that so down tilt to the fair if i can hit it or actually you may have to be a little bit higher percent for that to be true because i think it's just too low percent for that to connect so probably another one and then there if i can there you go uh which is really cool um his up tilt he just swings his head back and forth real quick let's try that out and that just looks like a basic up tilt, you know, nothing too special about that. It just maybe could juggle a little bit if you get into deeper combos. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then his forward tilt is just a bite. And it doesn't look like, I mean, it does decent damage, but I don't see this being too useful. And it doesn't look like it knocks him away too far. Um, unless maybe he gets at a higher percent, it'll knock him away. But yeah, it's not doing too much unless maybe you continue tapping it. It looks like you can continue keeping it um attacking um so yeah it looks like you can actually do this twice for two big hits and it will knock them back so um if you jabbing them a little bit oops wrong thing and you're jabbing them a little bit and then you come over for like some bites so i don't know that could work out to some cool things um but now let's get into smash attacks so smash attacks forward smash you have the spiky one for um you know once again mario galaxy and he swings and let's see how hard that does what base damage that can do at a full charge 25 so not too bad not too shabby you know it's not extremely strong but 25 and it has a pretty solid reach i mean reach is pretty decent on that um and then the down smash he just covers both sides with a spinning twirl with the the plot which actually i said the plot the pot which actually resembles uh mario's down smash um and it looks like it covers a lot and a full one would do 20 damage so not too much but enough to you know raise some some combos potentially you know jump out of a combo like that and it's 
Very horizontal sweeping, I know this. It can probably sweep you really far horizontal at high percentages, which is really good move um, with that. But up smash, he's just going to bite up. And it looks like his range is decent. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, so... It's just a quick up extender, which can probably lead from up throws and stuff like that. Uh, moving on. We just go to his throw. He grabs, and he looks angry. Look at him. He is not happy with that. And you can pummel by biting Mario's head. <laughs> Absolutely biting Mario's head. That's crazy. Um, but his forward throw is just a headbutt. Um, his back throw just yanks Mario backwards. And in his down throw... Bites Mario on the ground, which actually ends up popping him up and probably can finish with combos there. So that might actually be a really good move, combo starter right there, if you could finish it with a smash attack. So let's try that again. Look at that. That could be some cool stuff going on there. Um, his up throw, or we already got, it just he bites him upwards. So yeah, so that's pretty much... I like his down throw. Like I said, his down throw looks like it has lots of potential there. And, um, yeah. So, let's move to air game. Uh, his air game, his nair looks like it's pretty good. It covers all around him in a circle. And it looks like you could be able to, like, use this a lot to just kind of space things out. It doesn't look like it does a whole lot of damage whatsoever. But it's a good spacing tool, it looks like, right now. In case someone tries to shoot you or throw stuff at you, you can kind of, like, block it with this. Um, pretty solid right there. So, that's he's looking pretty solid right now. Um, you know, nothing too OP or anything. I haven't seen anything too OP yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Um... But, yeah, that was his nair. So, let's do his forward air, which is just a sweep. And you've been seeing me do this the whole time so far. So, what I would do is down throw into... Um, let me do that again. Down throw into fair, which looks like it might be a true combo of early percentages, at least. And it looks like it's pretty solid. So, I'm really I'm really liking that down throw because I feel like it has many potential. Um, with the fair, too. So, his back air is a burst of fire from his mouth, which actually looks like it could be pretty devastating if you hit it. Um, trying to see if I can hit it here. Let me um, throw him up. Oh, throw him up. Get him at a higher percentage. Now, let's see it. I can't hit him. Actually, it's not. it doesn't have that much range to it. Yeah, it doesn't have too much range, so it's kind of hard to... It, it hits like a ton of bricks, though. Man, that did a lot of damage. So let's try it again. Let's get him back up here. I'll show that off in a few minutes, too. So let's throw him up. Yeah, that looks like it does a pre pretty decent amount of damage there. Um, so, yeah, that could be pretty annoying sometimes. So, see that? Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, his down air, I believe, does spike. Um... He just swings the pop down um, right below him. Um, and I don't know if we can try that out with a CP right now. Um, we'll see how Mario behaves if Mario lets us get one of these off. Let's give him a strong side smash. Oh, Mario, don't do that to me. All right. His recovery, though. Did you see that? Uh, but let's see if we can get one off of Mario here. Nope, not going to cover it from that one. Yeah, this is kind of hard to... Trying to get one. I can't get one. But yeah, I just think his down air spikes. And it looks like it could do some damage. You can do some mix-ups there. Where I grabbed him. Threw him down. And maybe that could be a down throw kind of special thing there. Like that. And then maybe come up with a side smash or something. So... You have a lot of options here. And I do believe it spikes... Can't really test it out on CP right now because they don't cooperate. They don't move the way you want them to. See if I can get. See, yeah, I've been trying right there. It looks like you might have to sweet spot it, so it might not be as easy as it looks. So we're gonna have to test that out and see how that works. But that's his air attacks, and he does have an up air, which is just a head swing, and it doesn't look like that'll be too useful. You know, maybe just covering some, some area right there. It's quick, too, though. There's very minimal lag on his air attacks. I want to notice that, too. Um, he's very, very quick character. I know all the characters in this game are quick, but he is a pretty overall quick character. I mean, look how quick these moves come out. So you could probably juggle with the up air a little bit. 
Um, if I can freaking hit Mario. I picked the smallest little weak character. All right, there we go. Some. There. But yeah, I mean, he's pretty solid so far, but let's go on to specials real quick. In his specials, he has a Patui type of thing where he just spits. And it looks like you can control as far as it goes. I gotta kind of see how this works. I don't know if it goes lower, that means you shoot it lower, or if it goes higher, you means you shoot it higher. So yeah, okay, I think I do have it. So the higher it is, the shorter it'll go. And it doesn't depend on how long you toss it or whatever. The higher the ball is, the shorter it'll go. The shorter it is on his mouth, the further it goes. So as soon as you spit it out, you can do it, or as soon as it comes back down, it seems to shoot it a really long ways. So as soon as it comes back down, shoot it, and it shoots it pretty far. So it's like, boom. And that could be a great um, ledge guard right there. So toss it out short, or long, depending on how far he is. So let's say he's far. You could be like, boom, toss it all the way out there and get him, or toss it from right here. And that could be really, 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 really annoying. So, all right, it actually could probably just bounce right off the stage here. He does have a little bit of cooldown, though, after you use it. So, um, like, after you hit Mario and I want to use it again, it won't let me use it again for a while until, you know, eventually he recools it. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. His down B um, is a kind of shot sling type thing where he buries down into his pot and he'll extend outward. And you can hold this down for a little bit, but automatically he'll shoot out if you wait too long. And I don't know if it depends. I think it does depend on how long you hold it. Yeah, it depends on how long you hold it for how long he stretches. Um, and I can actually show you that now. And you can actually tilt the direction you want him to stretch. So I tilted right there. I tilted left. And you can't hold at an angle, it doesn't look like. You have to, unless you want to shoot it at an angle, I think you would have to actually release at the angle. Yeah, you have to release at the angle for it to happen, but or, or otherwise it'll tip over by itself. Um, but this is fully extended. And this is just a little bit. So clearly you can see it doesn't go as far when you barely extend it. But fully extend, it can reach. And it'll probably reach Mario from here. Or probably not. Let's see. A little bit more. There we go. Look how far that is. That's far. And that could also be a great le uh, ledge guard right there. Look at this. I mean, seriously. It, it could be deadly if you if you time it right. But yeah, it even, it even look like he could do that off stage. So yeah, he could fall off stage with it. He could just tip over off the stage. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, um, a couple more. He does have a side B, which if you hold it, it looks like it changed his color a little bit to a different color. And then you can spit it. Oh, actually, it didn't change his color. It just changed that aspect of him. So yeah, he can spit the poison out, which is actually really, really cool. And I'm not really paying it. Wow, that can't be the case. There's no way that's the case. Because that's racking up damage, dude. Is it doing that much damage? Oh my. Oh my goodness gracious. That is a lot of damage. Two squirts is 108%. Now obviously the character can move away from this. But what if you hold him into that poison? That's an up throw kill. Oh my goodness. That might actually be the first OP move I've seen so far. And you can hold this. Like this is in you now. And you, I don't know how long it lasts. I'm going to try to move around and see if it's just like an everlasting <coughs> special part of him. But man, oh my, if that's the case, this is just unfair. Because look at that damage, dude. And then, so wow, this character is a lot more complex than I thought because that is a lot, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of, 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 lot of damage. Look at that, dude. And I don't know, if, now it had like a ching noise. I don't know how long you could charge it or you could just spit it out right away. And just spitting it out right away does 33. So, I mean, oh my gosh. That's that's devastating if you get somebody caught in that. So, like I said, if you say you spit it over there and you blow it over there and you throw Mario into it, he could take some damage from that. That's Wow, there's a lot of setups that you can do with this. This character is interesting, for sure. Um, Now, I do believe the down B has super armor. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know yet. I haven't jumped into battles yet. Uh, but I believe if you get hit... It will have super armor, and it won't hurt you while you're in the middle of this phase. Um, it may tip you in a certain direction, but I don't think you can get phased with that. But let's finally do the up B, which is a propeller. And it actually is a really good recovery, because I was way off a couple of times, and it recovered me. Look at that. And it's fast, too. And, 
Yeah, just like that. I don't know if it attacks at all. It does. It does attack. Wow. And actually, you could probably use that as kind of like Mario does his up B. And it combos with each other. And you can fast fall right back into the action again. And it's just... He's an incredible character, dude. I'm actually really enjoying his moveset right now. But he's really good. Really, really good of a character. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much Piranha Plant right there. I don't, if I missed anything, let me know. Um, I think that was it. Let's look at the taunts real quick. This is Up Taunt. Which is pretty cool. The classics right there. His Side Taunt. He just starts chomping. And then his Down Taunt. He does a little dance. But yeah, that's Piranha Plant right there. And I'll show you some edge, go uh, some edge leaning real quick. That's him leaning off the edge, hanging for dear life. And yeah, that's Piranha Plant. I mean, he's a pretty solid character. I'll try to get some gameplays over the night on him to see how well he adapts and see how good he really is. But um, yeah, he's a really good character and I'm really liking what I see so far. So he's got some real potential. And let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys want to see next from, from Piranha, uh, Piranha Plant. If you guys want to see some gameplays, a montage, or whatever, I'll be sure to get on that right off the rip. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next one. Hit you with a boom.